Ashley, can I talk to you about Debbie Dingle? Yes, what is it? I, um, I found her in the church yesterday with the collection box. I, I'm afraid I jumped to the wrong conclusion. She reacted very badly. The Dingles often have people jumping to conclusions about them. Yeah, and the fact that she believes her mum to be innocent, well, it makes her absence that much harder. I can imagine. Well, I want to do something to help her through it. I could have a talk with her. No, no, I, I think I should handle this. Well, I've established a relationship. <laughs> so you said. Really? I think I can handle this. Well, I'm here if you need to consult. Thank you. Get out of my way, you stupid mop. You can knock that off for a start. Bill, it's like a zoo in here. Well, that's not his fault, and it's not his fault that you're in a foul mood. We've told you before about taking your stops out on other people. Oh, whatever. If you had counted to ten before you lamped that last, you might never have been suspended. Well, she deserved it. I told you what she said about Mum. Well, what would your Mum think if she found out you'd been in bother? Well, don't tell her. Only if you agree to keep a lid on that temper. Right. Debbie, can I have a word? No. Debbie, please. Don't worry, I've paid for it. Look, I'm sure you have. I just wanted to say sorry about yesterday. Look, the church is there for anybody who needs it. I just hope you can accept my apology. Aren't you forgiven? Thank you. Now, do you mind if I ask you something? Go on. Did you find what you were looking for in the church? Not really. Well, maybe I can help you today, then. Why don't we go for a chat? Well, that's not going to help me at all. Well, I'm not sure that's true. It won't help, because all I want is a bit of peace and quiet. That King's Cross at our house. I just want to be on my own. OK, if that's the case, I'll try not to disturb you next time. Unless you want to talk. To a vicar? I don't think so. See ya. This is for you from Laurel. It's lovely, isn't it? You're gonna miss Laurel, aren't you? Come on down, we go. You're gonna miss her a lot. Tough to say. It's not been one of my best. Well, I thought you should know. I think I had a breakthrough with Debbie Dingle this afternoon. Really? I thought you'd managed to totally alienate her. Not at all. I really think she's reaching out for support in her own way. She might not necessarily be reaching out to you. She does have an extensive family. Oh, yes, the psychotic father and the uh, convicted murderer of a mother. That's putting it in rather stark terms. There are certain subtleties to the Dingles. <laughs> not that you'd notice. Look, take my advice. Don't take a high-handed approach with this family. They have a way of bursting people's bubbles, believe me. Well, thank you for the advice, but I think I can handle them. Unless you have any objection in me getting involved in community matters, I'll always take your lead, Ashley. Why should I object? You obviously know best. Thank you. I appreciate your confidence in me. <laughs>